Our Diamond Health, which was created by a very celebrated Dallas doctor. Also talking today, though, about some of the health disparities that still very much exist for African Americans. So listen, we're having this conversation about Black History Month, and I just had to take a little bit of a look back on your career as a doctor. Was this something you always wanted to do? How'd you get into the profession? When I was five years old, and I remember this very vividly, I would watch surgery on the Learning Channel. And my mom thought I was a complete weirdo. Well. But I was fascinated <laughs> with anatomy and physiology, and that's kind of how I got into to science and, and medicine. And, and it kind of started that, that vision and that dream to be a surgeon. I want to be a surgeon. That really is incredible at such a young age to have that passion and, to, and then, right, to have a dream and to accomplish it and to be doing what you're doing. Talk about what you've created because uh, what you've created at Diamond Health is actually pretty huge. Yeah, so, you know, I went into medical school uh, to be a surgeon and went to Cedar sinai in Los Angeles to do general surgery and just wasn't, it wasn't a good fit for me. Uh, I love being in the operating room, um, but I'm a people person. So, switched over to family, uh, family medicine, came back to Dallas where I'm from, finished my residency here at Methodist and uh, started Diamond Health in 2013. You know, we were looking at this UCLA study, uh, finds that the proportion of black physicians in the US has increased by only four percentage points over the last 120 years. So we look at that, you know, in Dallas, black population, according to the Census Bureau, is about 13%. There's just, it seems like there's just not enough black physicians. What do you make of that study? Uh, and it's even worse for, for African-American males, mm -hmm. so for, for black male doctors. Yeah. Um, black right. female physicians, they've actually increased over the last 60 years, but black male physicians are the exact same. We have not increased the amount of black physicians in this country at all. Uh, and that's sad. It's important for black physicians to understand what's going on and to really try and inspire and be role models for our youth to encourage them to go into medicine. Right, there has to be that recruitment, right? And there has to be that vision. Somebody has to see somebody else and think, you know, he's doing it or she can do it, I, I can do it too. Can exactly. you explain why for the patient this is important too? Well, the studies have shown that people want to see physicians that look like them, yeah. that share uh, the same ethnic group or the same culture. They feel more comfortable. Uh, they feel like they can trust that person more. And, and that's across all races and ethnicities. You know, it, it starts with um, racial bias. And unfortunately, it's so ingrained in our society from the way uh, black males are depicted in the media. Black males have less access to school resources. They have less access to advanced placement classes, STEM classes. And that has to change. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge sacrifice from time, from a time perspective and financially, yeah. you know. So I want to encourage um, black youth to understand and see that they can do anything they put their minds to. And I tell my son, he's five years old, that every night, you can do anything you put your mind to. If somebody's watching this right now and thinking, gosh, you know what? I think I want to do this too. What would be the first step for, for a young one? Somebody that's, you know, I mean, 10, 15 years old, what would your encouragement be to them? Yeah, I would absolutely say find a, a mentor, someone in the space, in the medicine, medical space that you'd like to shadow. And that's the first step. Get involved uh, with your community physician. Uh, we we'll always have our doors open to allow people to kind of get a taste of what we do. Listen, you were on that big TV show, Chasing the Cure. What was that like to be highlighted like that and celebrated like that? You know, that was a, an absolute dream come true. Yeah. Uh, I love medical journalism. I love to teach. So when you get to combine the medical background and, and, and teaching the general population, it was an amazing experience. Dr. James, thank you so much. Thank you. So here's what we will do. We will link everything to Diamond Health and that study we referenced earlier on our website, cw33.com.